Hello everybody, it's been a while. This week's camera is the Canon EOS IX. It's an APS Advantix uh, camera. It was made from 1996 to 2001. On the blog, after I shot some Kodak Advantix cameras, I joked that I was done with APS and less an IX fell into my lap. Didn't exactly fall into my lap, but I saw it on an online uh, auction site for next to nothing, so I grabbed it. Uh, it takes uh, EF lenses, not the EFS, for the modern uh, crop sensor digitals, although because it's Advantix, it does have a field of view crop of 1.25, so as far as the field of view is concerned, you take the focal length times 1.25, and that's the equivalent that you'll get. Does uh, through the lens phase detection autofocus. Uh, being an older camera, it has three focus points. The Japanese version, the IXE, had eye control uh, point selection. So the, the different focus points in the viewfinder would detect which one your eye was selecting. This is not the uh, Japanese version. This is the one made for the American market. Uh, it has vertically uh, traveling focal plane electronic shutter. goes from 30 seconds to 1 4,000th of a second, plus bulb, plus timer. Uh, it's a really, really full-featured camera. It's gorgeous with this stainless steel skin. The body's polycarbonate underneath. It's almost a shame it's APS. Uh, exposure control. It does a uh, six zone evaluative, uh, six and a half percent center weighted, so the center six and a half percent of what you see uh, gets priority. Uh, center weighted averaging, uh, it'll do uh, plus or minus uh, one or two EV values in half stop steps. And it has a, a mode for auto bracketing. Um, so it'll do uh, a shot at the exposure and then however much you've set under and over. And it'll do the second shot under, the third shot over. Has a uh, built in flash. It's guide number 11 meters at ISO 100. Does off the film metering uh, for the flash sinks at one two hundredth of a second. It's ETTL compatible. So this camera will talk to the modern EX series uh, flashes, which is also pretty cool. I don't have an EX flash right now. Just been using the built-in one. Uh, features uh, auto loading. It's got this nifty drop-in door right here drop the APS cartridge in there. Uh, it'll do mid-roll rewind. So if you had you know different speeds with you, you just tell it, hey, rewind, rewind. So you can pop in the different uh, speed film. It'll advance to the next free frame. Shoot, you drop the other one back in it. It uh, advances it to where you left off and you're ready to go. That was a really cool feature of APS, even though it was short-lived and not people's favorite film format. Um, when you have it set to continuous, it'll do two and a half frames per second. Um, with this dial, it has what looks like a really modern uh, control dial, a bunch of scene modes, um, you know, uh, aperture priority, shutter priority, full manual, and it also has something that uh, only a few of the Canons had, the depth of field uh, mode. You do half press focused on what you want the nearest to be in focus. You focus on what you want the farthest to be in sharp focus, do another half press, and it sets your aperture to give you that depth of field between those two points. It's really pretty slick. Uh, it has an autofocus light uh, to help the autofocus system so it doesn't hunt so much 
in really, really dark scenes. That can be a good or bad thing, but it's defeatable on this. It has mirror lockup, uh, which is really, really nice if you're shooting the moon, trying to get a skyscape or something like that. For really fast moving subjects, it'll also do second, cur second curtain sync for the uh, flash. It's really a pretty amazing camera. The test roll I ran through it, you'll see uh, some samples at the end. It was in, this film was in pretty sad shape. So I've got some more on order. Um, that one was from a thrift store, you never know. Uh, what I've got coming, it's claimed to be, you know, cold stored. So hopefully it'll be in better shape. Um, you get just astonishing amounts of control. You could do date and time stamp and as many modes as a modern digital camera. You know, you use the magnetic track on the APS film as well as some of the barcode and it did have a single, um, now I'm blanking, it might have been two. Anyway, it had uh, holes in the film so that it got really precise frame placement. I'm looking forward to shooting uh, more with this. I mostly worked with this 35 to 80, just a little walking around lens. I also used uh, this 70 to 300 Sigma. The firmware is too old in this, doesn't work on the 60D. So it's nice to be able to haul out some of this old uh, EF glass and shoot it. Anyway, as soon as I get uh, some more rolls of APS film, I'll shoot them and I'll see you then.